Hey everyone, Hassan here. Welcome to the world of Ha. Hello. I'm here with Maheen. <laughs> if you're in the chat, say hi. Uh, little hello. disclaimer. Hi. This is a collector's item, something that is not designed for kids specifically, or at least this video mm -hmm. is not targeted towards kids. Yep. This video is targeted towards the, the collector, the adult collector that enjoys mm -hmm. video games as well. Uh, hello, Jared the Boss YouTube. I am the King, Candido Cazares, Misty Megna, Thomas Moyes, Jeremy Webb. Welcome. Welcome, I love your vids. Thank oh. you, I appreciate it. Scalo Pulton 301 hello. Isaac Davis, what's up? So this, if, if you can't tell by the title, is a Metroid mystery box. Mm -hmm. um, and here's the deal. Uh, what's up, Anthony Aguilar Luna? Um, this is a GameStop exclusive. Yep. And it's normally like $40 or something, but there was a, um, a, uh, a GameStop store that was going out of business. And I think I ended up getting it for like $13, $14 or something. Um, so for $40, I don't know if this is worth it, but if you can get it for real cheap, it might be mm -hmm. worth checking out. Yeah, it's pretty cool looking actually. And like, yeah, I like the, the design. Graphic on it, but yeah, so it's by made by, or it's built by Culturefly and the official Mesh licensed Nintendo the product. Yeah, sometimes it like, keeps down. Metroid, official licensed Nintendo product, made in China, built by Culturefly, you know, yeah. standard information. So the outside packaging does, like, um, doesn't it give an oh. idea of what's included? Yeah, there was a But I don't, don't want to, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, that's, and that's good because I kind of forgot what's included, so I want it to be a surprise. But just so you know, if you buy it, there's a sticker on the outside that does kind of tell inside. you. So, you know, so who, you know, who is that guys. lady? Wow. This is my wife. My wife. I'm his wife. Yes. So, <laughs> Metroid is my favorite game. Now nice. that mystery is solved, let's get right into this. Nice. Ooh. Okay. So there's a few things. Okay. So here, ooh, okay. So this. we'll start ooh. with this. Oh, this is actually this is really, really cool. cool. So it's like a duffel bag and it's like bright. Um, it's, it's bright oh. yellow. It's, got it's like Samus, Samus color. Yeah, right there. And it has Samus on it. It's pretty good. I mean, I'm not gonna say it's the best quality, but for something that will come in a box like this, it's pretty decent quality. Like the, and it's really pretty. It's really nice to look at. Uh, tag. So cool. It's, it's almost like little morph balls on the yeah. sides, oh, which yeah, is kind of cool. So it's, it's okay. Yeah, nice. It's, colors, it's actually a yeah, decent size Metroid. too. Metroid. Um, then of course, there's the little Velcro thingy to put the hands together. Got two zippers. Okay. Yeah, two zippers. Yeah, it's pretty nice. So yeah, probably good for like a weekend or something away. Good Nuduka or like as a carry-on bag when you travel. Because it's a decent size, but it's I think it's pretty sure this should be small enough as a care for a carry-on. So that's yeah. pretty cool. Good carry on nice size. All right. All right. Next thing is very appropriate given the current weather. Ooh. So it's a winter hat, a little puff ball on top. Some loose threads, but that's to be expected. Tag yellow and orange with the logo. It's pretty cool. Uh, and then the thing does fold down, but then your hat's ridiculously long. To... Okay. I'll, I'll demo it. Mm -hmm. It is a little poofy at the top, which I'm not. Ah, uh, no, 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 help, no. Uh, that is not how you wear the hat. It could be though. Um, yeah, it is really poofy and warm. It's very nice. So there you okay. go. Next thing is a jellyfish keychain. Jelly, jellyfish, jellyfish keychain? The jellyfish. Wow, this is a Metroid <laughs> unboxing, folks. Uh, this, this is a Metroid. They're don't, the don't, don't cool. hate and don't give a dislike to this evil video. Look, it's evil. You're gonna make everyone dislike this video. It's a Metroid, which is the title of this box. <laughs> so 
So in Metroid Prime, are they like better than the other Metroids? Because they're Prime. Or is I there, don't remember actually. Is there like seven or something of them as a Prime number? <laughs> it's a good question actually, I don't know. Okay. There is a Super Metroid game. Are those Metroids Super? I don't know. That's a pretty cool keychain. It's, it's not too heavy, but like, you know, it's got good detail on it. It's pretty. So I'm gonna keep the keys. I'll keep them together without being too heavy and bulky. So, so that's pretty cool. Excited for Metroid Prime Four. Me too, but it's probably a few years away. All right. Next thing is a little notebook oh, of Samus's funny. head. That's pretty cool. That is odd though, because like that's not very practical, like yeah. the shape. Let's see. Well, you the bag I mean? was ripped, so I just took it out. But yeah. Like when you write stuff, you're kind of awkwardly writing smaller sentences and then longer ones. Yeah. It's more for novelty sake, I guess. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool though. I think it would be better as a square circle and then which is an image of her head on there or something, but yeah. you know, whatever. Next thing is, I think this is just art. So it's like a card of. Oh, that's know, cool. That's nice. Let me take it out from the bag so there's not any glare. Metroid Prime isn't just the name of the game, it's also the name of the final boss oh. of said game. Uh, see, I never beat the game. I did play. Oh, yeah. Uh, some, but I did not. Cool. I did That's not actually really it. cool. I like that. If you're a big Metroid Ooh. fan, stick this in a frame and, you know, put up on a wall. And it's, and like, good, uh... uh yeah, card stock. Like, yeah. And I feel like it's nice enough that you could just have it in your house and it could be, like, a statement piece and people who don't know what Metroid is like, oh, that's pretty cool. Where'd you get that? That's some interesting artwork. Mm -hmm. Next thing, we have some things in packages. Here's Ooh. a squishy ball. Our stress ball. Let's a morph ball. Stress Squish ball. Yeah, that cool. is awesome. So let's actually see how this thing squishes. Is it actually? See, I feel like there needs to be differentiation between. Oh, there needs to be a differentiation between squishies and stress balls because I feel like sometimes companies mix up the two. But this is a this proper says squishy, squishy yeah, and it oh, is a squishy like ball. That. It's really not a stress ball. Okay. That's true. No. But look. Huh? And oh, you're trying nice. to wait it's got for the it. Slow to... rise thing that people that people look for in squishies. I really like that. I'm gonna keep this. It also kind of looks like a burger. <laughs> It does. Or a basketball. I like that. I feel like like how the picture they should have made the lines greenish or something, yeah. kinda even though it wouldn't glow. Um Yeah, there's more detail definitely in the graphic in the yeah. image, but you but know. But like, because they have the green around the side, but then the it, it almost looks like a basketball. flat basketball yeah. or something or too. An orange. That's but, pretty cool. You know, it's neat. And then finally, last thing is a Wee. vinyl figure. Ooh. So of a Metroid. Oh, so let's this get this real up. soft. You know, as soon as I. You beat in all three Prime games. They're fun. I've I've played like chunks of all three. Yeah, I have the Metroid Prime trilogy, uh, like Steel Book, uh, when they release that. You know how she turns into a ball and rolls around. How does that work? Magic. Oh, it almost looks squishy. But it's I not, wish right? it would be cool if this were squishy. Like this would be really fun to squish, but I do like how it's like, it's like a plastic bubble, or vinyl bubble, and like it is a little bit. There's like some give. Yeah. Oops. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> it came out. So yeah, and then the things inside. So that's pretty cool, actually. It smells weird. Do I have Richter and Dark Samus? Yes. Cool. I just yeah. need to do my unboxing. Though. And it's kind of flat in the back. I don't think it's meant to be like that. I think that just happened like, you can see where it's shining. It's like flat right here. I don't think it's meant to be like that, awesome. but I don't know. I oh, guess yeah. it happened in the packaging. Is is there another it. Metroid thing? Oh no, I was trying to look at well, like this. It doesn't really show. No. We don't really see the back on the other stuff. Yeah, that is interesting. You that can kind of see it funky. like that. I can smell it from here. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a strong, chemically plasticky smell. So does this... Hopefully that'll wear off. Maybe you should wash it or something. The only thing is like... How does it sit? Oops. Oh. Does it like... Is it supposed to go like that? No, this is the bottom. So. I mean, it'll sit since it's flat <laughs> like that. I don't that. think it's... Uh, I think it's... Ooh, I do not like that smell. Yeah, it's kind of awkwardly sitting because like you can like balance it like that sort it of. It also seems like, to look more. I think it's the lighting, but it also I guess look, like this a little. But it looks more blue on camera. It's kind of more of a bluish green, you know, in real life. Ugh, gross. Um, 
Savion Newman says, I like your jacket. Ooh, thank you. Uh, CS Toys, Mr. S, how are you? Good, how are you? He's stopping by stream again, welcome. Mm -hmm. I do um, like squishing it, though. It's gonna, like, permanently be bent. Squish Sorry. this. Okay. <laughs> That's a different kind of squish. Though. They're actually, you know what, I have... Didn't they release a Metroid Amiibo? Did I get that Did Amiibo? They Amiibo? I don't think I bought it, actually, because... Um. I didn't need it mm -hmm. for the Metroid game or whatever. I didn't I didn't buy Samus Returns for 3DS. Favorite of the trilogy is Metroid Prime 3 Corruption. I think I would agree because I actually, I like the motion controls that they did. Um, although I also really liked Metroid Prime Hunters on the DS. I know not everyone does, but that was actually fun. I like the multiplayer. <laughs> it's a full on flat morph ball right mm -hmm. there. Imagine if in the game when she transformed, it you had to wait this long for her to like transform back. Well, here's the thing: what what happens to her body when she's in that spherical armadillo form? We're doing a live stream on YouTube. Nice. That's cool. So yeah. In terms of squishies, this is like a really really good one. It's really nice. Not that I'm any expert on squishies, but I know that like slow rise, like the slow rising thing, and like the softness. Is something people like and i guess like with more use and stuff we'll see how it is in terms of quality since i know some of the cheaper kinds like the paint won't last on it yeah somebody said when do i think metroid prime 4 will be out i think like 2021 2022 because they practically started over like what is it a year ago or something or six months a year ago whenever i don't remember Hada. Um, oh, so what's your favorite thing out of the box? This. This? The squishy ball. And then the vinyl figure. Really? Interesting. Mm -hmm. Um, I kind of, I like the squishy ball, like, just for the feel of it, not for the look. It's okay. Um, the duffel bag yeah. is actually pretty useful. You could hold it like this. And also, this ah. is nice and warm. But I don't know. Yeah, I, I mean, I guess I would wear this. I guess I would. Yeah. Uh... Samus turns her body into plasma oh, to obtain you... morph ball form. Oh, okay. So it I was, guess you would just have to do it like that. It was revealed at E3 2017. Yeah, but then they, they started over. Nintendo announced that the game was delayed and it started mm -hmm. over. It, Retro Studios was working on it. So it's going to be a few years since then. So don't count E3. Count when they announced the delay. Um, yeah, I think I think this is... Is definitely pretty cool now the thing is unless you're like a real big metroid fan i don't know if i would pay the full price for this i got it on clearance since the store was closing so that was worth it but otherwise um i think you have to be like a diehard metroid fan mm -hmm. to really just want to spend 40 dollars on it yeah it's like the bag is nice and i guess you have a vinyl figure for display but it the rest horrible. of the stuff is doesn't cost much like, you know Ugh. Why do you keep smelling it because then? Because it's a problem. <laughs> I have a problem. I don't know why it smells so bad. This one kind of smells funky too, but not as bad. You're a diehard Metroid fan? Yeah. Then go to GameStop and buy the box. Or like, look on it. I don't know. Maybe they're selling it at Amazon, on the website. Yeah. Well, this is a GameStop exclusive. Mm -hmm. There's a sticker set. Oh, yeah. Which, it's going to suck if you have to pay full price for it, but I don't know. I feel like, you know, GameStop, they always have a display of sales items. I feel like this yeah. is going to be one of those things yeah, that will eventually land there. Definitely. Ooh, Copa. How is everything going on your channel with Copa? Copa. Uh, it's annoying. I have very, like, significantly less comments on my channel now, which sucks, because all my, like, Power Rangers videos, for the most part, mm -hmm. now don't have comments. Um, oh, that's actually pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> the Metroid got Samus. Oh no! Oh man! But I mean, the channel's still going. I'm still doing the channel. I'm not yeah. stopping. So yeah, what what happens if she's like rolled up into a ball and this thing comes and just grabs? Can she just like unturn and? Not I think she turn can back normal. Like I can't. I think oh. she releases bombs or something like this too. Oh. Oh no! Don't poke a hole and then it's it'll deflate. Hole. There. It's um, moved out. It's gone. Because when you're a morph ball, you can like drop bombs and stuff in the games. So maybe that's I'm trying to remember. Maybe. 
It's annoying that I've gotten used to it. I may start a Discord channel uh, so that people can, like, chat and stuff. I might do that. People have asked about it. Gosh. Breath of the Wild being announced in 2014. It's yeah. crazy. Depending on the time, the part of the year that was, I might have still been yeah, I might have still have been in college. Is that the go? I don't know. What is Discord? Uh, it's like a chat messaging board sort of kind of thing, I would say. Specifically for gamers, but I mean, like, anyone can use it. Who's she? I just got here. This is my wife. Yeah. I'm surprised how many people have been married haven't since... watched any of my other unboxing, like, live streams. September of 2016. Which is fair, though, because if you just watch, yeah. like, my Power Rangers videos I, and stuff... I don't appear in that many things. She doesn't, she doesn't yeah. appear on the Power Rangers videos. Mm -hmm. Do you play Super Smash Brothers? Uh, a tiny bit. I really only play when we have guests over, and that's, like, the thing that we're doing. I'm not really a big fan of, like, fighting games like that. One, because I stink at them. I know there's, like, a process. It's like, oh, we need to press these buttons and then in this order and so and so and so. But I, I don't know. I'm not into it. I just smash all the buttons. Power Rangers. Power yeah, Rangers. Let's give it <laughs> yeah. Oh, you know, well, I don't know if we would make a video of this, but... I got this for Hassan for his birthday. For his birthday. Because he likes, well, we both like spicy food, but this is like something he would be into. So it's like a 30 Just be careful uh, that they don't sampler all fall pack out. of hot, so different, all these different hot sauces. So I think it would be cool. Like what he's going to do one day is like I'll make batches of um, uh, wings and then like we can use the sauce to flavor them. That'll be fun to try out. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if these, whoops, any of these hot sauces are available just, for sale. I don't know. They seem like really random flavors. This is not is. an edited video, so. No, it's not. But yeah, it might be cool to do a video taste testing, see what he and I like the best. It is a lot of sauce, but I feel like mm, one of those little bottles would cover like three. Or maybe wings, if even that. <laughs> you love my hat? We just unboxed this. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, so it was a pretty interesting box. I like your shirt and jacket. Thank you. Actually, this is also, they're all from the Nintendo store in New York. Mm -hmm. This shirt from Not a while this. ago, and then this one from recently. What's the hottest one out of those? Oh, I don't know. We don't know. We haven't taste tested them yet. How long have you two been married? Uh, so it was in 2016, September. September, that we got married. So it'll be four years come this September. Yep. So three years now. Hopefully you get a chance. It's, like, it's a small little store, but it, like, you know, it's fun to experience, go there and see the stuff they had or have. They have some cool exclusive mm -hmm. shirts and other yeah. things. I'd say that's a, probably the biggest reason to visit, the exclusive items. Yeah. Does this say Nintendo New York anywhere or it, no? no? I don't think it does. Mm -hmm. I think it's just the Pokemon. Yeah. So this this one may be available on the Pokemon Center website. I don't know. But this oh, shirt does it. say Nintendo New York. Mm -hmm. So um, this is exclusive. Mm -hmm. Favorite Star Wars character? Ray. Baby Yoda. <laughs> Baby Yoda's great. Telling you, Yoda got busy. <laughs> Yoda and Yaddle. Yep. All the fun, like all of Zatu said. Oh God. Mm -hmm. uh, Metro Prime Four delay similar to Breath of the Wild delay. Uh, it's really not though, because they didn't. Breath of the Wild mm -hmm. got pushed back a little bit, but. Um, but Metro Prime 4 is, like, starting over. It's a, it's a pretty different scenario. New developer and everything. Mm -hmm. Darth Vader. <laughs> nice. Nice. Um, is there anything else to show? I'm trying to think. Do you have any boxes or anything um, to show? Any toys? 
trying to think. I don't think I have any other new things to show. I still have reviews that I'm working on. I have the newest Amiibo. Mm -hmm. I have new Beast Morphers figures. I still have all those Lightning Collection figures. So I still have all those to review. So that's coming. But I just posted today my review of some Darth Maul lightsabers. So speaking of Star Ooh. Wars, check that out. Mm -hmm. When will I do the Lightning Collection reviews? They're, they're coming. I, I don't know exactly when, but I definitely will. When am I going to do more Kamen Rider reviews? I probably won't, at least not for a long time. I don't have any plans to. So... Mm -hmm. Star Wars is awesome. Yep. Any other last minute questions? Go, go, go. What do I think of Byleth? Oh, as the new character? Eh, in Smash Brothers. It's all right. Have, have you ever played a Fire Emblem game? I've just heard of it. I've never played it. I've heard so many good things about them, but it's not like my type of game. I feel like you might like it because it is like you like more RPGs mm -hmm. and stuff. Yeah. Um, Fire Emblem Three Houses is on Switch, and I it's like you can pick between one of the three houses, almost like Hogwarts kind of, and you like can like you know almost build your own story and hmm. you know customize characters and all that. And it's an RPG, but one of the characters from that game is going to be coming to Smash Brothers. Mm -hmm. Do you like Sonic? I played... Sort of. What was the Sonic game? I think it was on the Dreamcast first, but then they made it again on the GameCube. And I think it's the first appearance of Shadow. And then there's these little cute little creatures that you like run into while you're running around in the world. And you can save them and you put them in this little nursery thing that you can visit. I remember always saving them because... Sonic it, Adventure 2? Yeah, yeah, that's what it was. I remember I always... Uh, would rescue them because I couldn't stand the thought of them like dying or whatever if I left them behind. Oh. They were so cute. Oh my god. <laughs> we have to see the Sonic movie. Oh yeah. On Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. oh, <laughs> I want to stay at a bed and breakfast. Well, no, not that weekend. But yeah, we'll see um, Power Rangers. I mean, uh, Sonic. <laughs> I've been keeping up the final season of Supernatural. Oh gosh, I never uh, watched that we show. Never, we've never watched <laughs> yeah. it. I know there's like, um, there's Dean and Sam and Castile. I know that um, there's a lot of like supernatural stuff, stuff yes. that happens. So many yeah. supernatural things. Yeah. And isn't their dad like, or wasn't their dad like a jerk or something? I don't know. It's I have no idea. And not Sam. Dean. Dean's the one with the short, he's the older brother, but he's the one with the like short hair. He used to, Dernie used to be like goth or something. I don't, I don't know. I never watched that show. I don't know. Miss, Miss Ha. Do you like Power Rangers? I mean, it's all right. I like <laughs> finding the funny, really funny clips and like ridiculous clips from the show that people make uh, gifs or gifs or whatever the heck it is of and then laughing at it and questioning. Yeah, she would always watch that Turbo episode with the pizza. Mm -hmm. Like the clip of that where they're baked in a pizza. giant <laughs> microwave oven or mm -hmm. whatever. Then there's the one where they all become pumpkin heads. Oh, yeah. I don't know who Jensen Ackes is. That's one of the actors. Oh, right? David Yost is the Blue Ranger, uh, so I guess. That's so that's one of the brothers in um, oh. Supernatural. That's what it is. Dean. Oh, hmm. interesting. Interesting. That show's been a long, a long time. See, I feel like it's the kind of show I would be into because I had friends who were in it and would watch it in high school. Hmm. And I'm like, that sounds interesting, but I never watched it. And then I went on Tumblr and I saw how the fans are. I'm like, I don't think I want to watch this show. This is how the fans are. But that's also a Tumblr, so, you know, the crazies and the loonies. Neon or black Joy-Cons? Well, what color neon are you talking? Uh, I mean, I think black Joy-Cons would be nice and, like, you know, clean looking. I don't know. Red and blue. Oh, are you talking about like neon red Rangers. and blue versus the gray Joy Cons, like the ones that they have in store? Um, well, you got the red and blue one, and I got the gray one. Uh, with the Switch when we originally got it. Yeah, right? the neon. I like the neon, and then I have the now I have the Disney Disney Tsum Tsum one, which yeah. is 
pink and purple and it's really pink. I I think I prefer the gray I mean neon blue and red is really nice but if it was regular red and blue I think I would like it more Dino Thunder do you like Dino Thunder Powers? I don't think she's seen is any episodes first, of no, Dino Thunder. No, it's not the first season. No. She's she's only seen, like, two or three episodes of, like, Mighty Morphin. And then, like, the first episode of the ap- post-apocalyptic world one. You saw, like, three or four episodes of that. And then there was, like, a space-based one that I thought I saw. Yeah, you saw the Ninja Turtles of episode of that, too. Mm-hmm. You saw, like, one or two episodes of Beast Morphers. Mm-hmm. You walked in when I was watching Ninja Steel, and you said this is terrible and walked out, which I don't blame you for. <laughs> Uh, yeah. So. Favorite Star Wars? I don't know. I do like the newer ones. I know, and I know some people are like, "Oh no, the new one shock," but I do like them. Um, and uh, but obviously, I don't think anything can beat like the old classics. Like, those are good. Um. Uh, yeah, and I know people like I like I did like, we did like the last one, but when people are raising like the issues that people are raising about it, I definitely understand. Like, I don't know, has it been long enough to say stuff about the about what happens in the movie, or is it too soon? Mm. Let's hold still. Yeah, I'd say if it's still in theaters, then yeah, it's too soon. Yeah, I think it still is in theaters. Yeah. Um, somebody said, do you like the new Alvin and Chipmunk series? I don't... Is that yeah. the cartoon that they have or had on Nickelodeon, or it's... I don't know. I CGI? I've only seen the something. movies that they did. There's, like, the old... Okay, there's the super, super old school... Like, people would see it and be like, wait, this is Alvin and the Chipmunks, like old school, very old from like the, what, 60s or whatever, Alvin and Chipmunks. Then there's the newer movies, I think were in the 90s, Alvin and Chipmunks, where it's like, like Alvin and Chipmunks be Frankenstein or the Wolfman or whatever. And then they made the newer one, which is like CGI, which uh, is on Nickelodeon, I think, or is it on Disney? It's on Nickelodeon. Or is it on, no, I don't know. They live in a treehouse. Like the first movie was was kind of decent, and then after that, it just kind of was not. There's there. three, three. Okay. On Nickelodeon. I remember the first one. I watched it, and then the second one. I think they go to high school, which is weird because it's just like wait, they're fourteen at least. And then the third one, where like they go get stranded on an island, which I feel like I've seen bits and pieces of, but I do remember when Alvin and the Chipmunks first came out, like the live action movie. It was popular and then like do you guys remember like how all of these songs came out like popular songs but like the chipmunk versions of it mm. and that was a thing like my <laughs> how was that a thing like they released i think entire cds of mm-hmm. chipmunk sounding Ugh. You like Minecraft? Uh, haven't really played it. Mm-mm. Not really my type of thing. Yeah. Uh, I feel like I tried to play it for a bit, but like, I don't know. I just wasn't into it. I think the most, like probably the most I've gotten into it wasn't playing it, but I used to watch these, um, this video game channel on YouTube, the Yogcast or whatever, the Yog Pod. those two guys, Simon and someone else, and they made like, videos of them playing minecraft and there would be like stories to go along with it that i was into for a while and then like i don't know i haven't watched them in years i don't even feel it. no if they're still a thing you gotta do more kingdom hearts and link's awakening live streams especially link's awakening holy um the uh mm. so people were asking about so uh, a couple live streams ago i think you were at work or something i found an old cassette tape that i was playing oh god and i made up like my own songs and raps and stuff so one of them was power Rangers related which you're not going to understand probably mm-hmm. but one was uh, uh pokemon related i don't know why but you know the pokemon zatu yeah like the, right uh i called it like zatu protector of the future or something i don't know and the song i was like zatu za 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 zatu za, za, za i have no need to watch this it was well. It was a it was a uh, cassette like or sorry yes. not like a VHS but like an audio cassette. I have no need to listen to it. <laughs> people, that's why people kept commenting stuff like that, and I'm like, it's trust me. She's not gonna she's not gonna care. She's gonna just shake her head and walk away. Mm-hmm. Do you like Spider Man? Yes, I love Spider Man. Mm-hmm. Spider Man is awesome. <laughs> am I tired? I am tired. 
It's the end of the week. Mm-hmm. I have work tomorrow. That she does. But I had today off. But I also had double shift yesterday. Now I have double shift tomorrow. Which Spider-Man movie is your favorite? Into the Spider-Verse. Oh, yeah, that's true. Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. I think I would have to say... Ah... Uh, I don't know if it'd be Spider-Man Homecoming or Far From Home. Mm -hmm. I feel like I like parts of each one. Yeah. And then I feel like each Spider-Man has their strengths. I feel like, okay, I will admit the ones with Andrew Garfield were entertaining, but it's just like, I can't, Andrew Garfield as a nerd, like it just, I feel like it just doesn't work. Yeah. And I feel like that's like one I, sort of I like those movies for Spider-Man himself. Like when he was swinging around and doing yeah. all sorts of stuff, like that was Spider-Man. But yeah. I didn't like Peter Parker. Yeah. In those movies. He's like, it's like you, you're not like you, you just can't be a nerd. I think probably like the most accurate, like nerd, because it's like the Tom Holland one, is where it's just like you know, like it's endearing, it's charming how nerdy he is. And then, but then I think probably by the probably like the best portrayal of Spider Man being a nerd is Tobey Maguire because that he's just straight up viciously bullied and like, yeah, he's a nerd and he's like, it's not charming, it's not cute it's you feel sorry for him because people are mean to him and like i remember the scene where like what the but even the bus driver is picking on him and he's like laughing along with all the kids on his bus yeah i feel like toby mcguire was a good peter parker andrew garfield was a good spider-man and tom holland is the best combination mm -hmm. of the two um the uh although the spider-man video game fantastic mm -hmm. i have played it and beaten it um and it is Fantastic. I actually, I could show this. Oh. Um, uh, oh. You mean you haven't shown that since now? I did an unboxing a long time ago, but I I got a um, custom Spider-Man controller from Controller Chaos, I think it is. So they make mm -hmm. customized ones. They have certain designs. And uh, after, um, you know, playing some of Spider-Man, I was like, I need to play with a Spider-Man controller. And so, Ooh, got Spider-Man 3. That's the one where he does his dance. I enjoy uh, Spider-Man 3. It's fun. It it's just, a fun movie. Uh, I don't know. He made some questionable choices, but I feel like, I don't know. Yeah, it's weird. It's entertaining. But I do like know? how um, Into the Spider-Verse, like, you know, referenced back to it. And, like, that one mm -hmm. was awesome. People want them to do a live action Spider Verse with all with Tobey Maguire, Andrew Garfield, Tom Holland, like all together. That'd, That'd be, be interesting. That'd be cool, but I don't know. I feel like Tobey Maguire is like, listen, man, I'm too old. I, for I, this. I don't think they would ever do it. He, but that would be well, cool. So I know they reference it to Tobey Maguire Spider Man. So yeah, that's the one who's like, a, is he the one who's a loser? Or he's, yeah, he was the mm -hmm. one who was like, a, not a loser, but like, he was sad and into the Spider Verse. And the blonde one. I guess could have been Andrew Garfield. I maybe, maybe, probably not though. You ever see the live action nineteen seventy seven Spider Man series? I've seen clips. I don't. I haven't watched it though. It doesn't really appeal to me. Mm. Yeah, the I, I think that's what you're talking about. The Japanese one, Subaida Man. I feel like it's there's like some uh, GIF, GIF that people use for memes and reactions and stuff that is from that. It's like a white guy with like curly blonde hair that's like chin or shoulder length. And oh, I don't know. There's one that they're talking about as well that was like Japanese. Like oh, okay. it was made by like the same company that did like Super Sentai and all the oh, stuff like the Power Rangers. He actually, Spider-Man had like a, a giant robot and stuff too. Oh. Um, but it's like it had a whole different backstory and it was yeah, like totally different. I don't like that. I mean like it's it's I've seen clips and it's kind of funny how it is, but it's not mm -hmm. really something I would like watch yeah. watch. You know, like a whole episode or something. But Hello. Yeah. Oh, the one with Nicholas Hammond? Oh, I don't know. I haven't seen that. The the Spider Man series that I grew up on was the the one in the nineties on Fox Kids. So that's what got me into Spider-Man. Oh, I guess I remember that one. Do I have light? I have all the Lightning Collection figures. Um, I just haven't reviewed them all yet, but I, I have all of them. It's on YouTube. Look it up sometime. Check it out. Oh, that's interesting. 
This is not the one I was thinking of, but Nicholas Hammond Spider Man. Oh. It search um su- Supida Man like S U P A. Uh, uh, AI. Uh, not that one. Hold on, if I probably just if I... No, so SUP. Hold on. Probably if I search Japanese Spider Man. Um. Um. You may not. I don't think you're gonna. Yeah, search search the Supida Man thing. S U P A I. Yeah, that one. Mm. So, that's that is it. People have just artwork and stuff for it. Oh, yeah. but... Weird. Awfully good. It's interesting, ish. Fascinating. Yeah. Uh, All right. Well, I think we are going to end mm-hmm. the stream for today. Um, what are you doing? See this little circle thing? Yeah. Don't pick at it. Um... But yeah, so for anybody um, that just joined, go check out the stream if you missed it. But we opened up the Metroid box, had some cool stuff like this um, duffel bag, hat, the squishy mm-hmm. ball, a poster, notepad, keychain, mm-hmm. and a vinyl figure. It smells awful. Um, it does smell a little, yeah. But the uh, I think it is GameStop exclusive. If you're like a diehard Metroid fan, Check it out. Otherwise, like try and find it on sale or yeah. something. And there's some, you know, a couple cool things in there oh. to definitely check out. But That's nice of you, um, thank you all so much for joining. Mm-hmm. As always, um, I do have a lot of videos on the way. I know you all ask about lightning collection and all that. Just FYI, over the next few weeks, I'm not gonna have as many videos up on the channel just because we're kind of doing some cleaning and reorganizing and stuff. Mm-hmm. And so it's it's hard to. You know, there's stuff in the way for of where I film my videos and everything. So mm-hmm. um, it's a little harder to uh, get the videos uh, filmed and stuff. So, uh, but I will try my best. I will do live streams periodically to talk to you all. Uh, but but soon after mm-hmm. that, we'll, we'll get videos out. So anyways, thank you all Good so night. much. Take care. That is See you later. Bye. Bye-bye.